Hello, Frank Hester here. As most of you know, our Two Start Living uh, 2SL domain was blocked by Facebook this weekend. I've had a lot of people today contacting me, not quite sure how they're going to be able to market on Facebook with the link block, but I kind of look at it in a different way. I kind of look at it as, as sort of a compliment uh, that to the way that you guys have got out and shared this business in the first four or five days. Uh, it's not uncommon for very popular opportunities, especially MLM or network marketing opportunities, to be blocked by Facebook when they go viral and the link is shared literally thousands of times over just a, you know, a very short period of time. So I kind of look at that as a compliment to what you guys have done the last few days. And there's numerous ways you can get out and, and share your link. And you don't have to just uh, have your direct referral link uh, on your wall or in a group or, or in a, a private message. Uh, one of the ways that a very popular way to do this to get around that blocking is to create a very simple splash page. And you can do that in pretty much any type of website editing software. Uh, the two most popular are probably Weebly and Wix. I actually created an, uh, a splash page in Weebly earlier today, and I shared that with some of my personal referrals. And I, you know, the probably the most popular software to do that is Wix. I'm not real familiar with Wix, so actually, about 30 minutes ago, I created me a, a new Wix account, a free Wix account. I actually just logged in with my uh, Facebook account and it actually gave me the username as you can see here Elk Hester 9302 so if I had created that I'd probably have a little better uh, username than that but that's what it uh, you know the software auto auto took my uh, my uh, Facebook username and it gave me uh, that for username so let's just kind of walk through this real quickly uh, you know like I said I just created this account about 30 minutes ago I really wasn't sure how to maneuver around in Wix but it is as simple as just kind of click and uh, you know and drop and, and edit it's, it's very simple so let's start by saying create your website and that's from the main page when you log in now you'll see uh, numerous uh, you know templates here and, and that's great I don't even know how many there are in here I haven't clicked through them because if I ever uh, you know create a landing page a splash page or a capture page I really like to start from a blank template or a custom template that I have built myself. And they do have an option for a blank template. So we're going to choose that. And this is the blank template right here. So we're going to click Edit. And it should, uh, in a few seconds, open up into the editing software. Um, there we go. So this is the blank page editing software. So the first thing we want to do is create a background and typically again I would upload my own picture I'd probably edit the picture because so I want my landing page and my splash page and everything to kind of be consistent but just for time purposes we're going to choose something that's here and they actually have some pretty cool ones in here this is actually our finished product uh, at 2SL is travel uh, that's what we're marketing and here's a pretty cool, it's actually a video page. So we'll use this with palm trees in it. And so when I click that, you can see that it actually uh, brought the background into the editing software. And this is the area we're going to be working from. This is where we're going to you know, put our, uh, our image and our call to action in this area. So we're going to go over to the next step down, which is the Add button. And we're going to add an image and we're going to click my image uploads and you'll see that I've already uploaded an image here I'm actually going to delete that because I was playing around in here uh, so I can show you how to do that now if you have not uh, let's get rid of some of these yeah if you have not been to your back office Go to your back office and get real familiar with all the, you know, what I recommend doing is actually click through every link and kind of see what's in there. You, you never know what you're going to find in the back office of any type of business that you join. One of the things that I found under this promote tab was some pretty cool marketing graphics. And we'll click on that and you'll see there's, there's several graphics that I've actually used in some of my marketing. 
Uh, you can see on my wall here, I actually uh, have used this image uh, just earlier today. But we'll go back over here. We're going, but we're going to use this. I call it kind of a badge or a button here. We're going to use this one for our uh, our splash page. And I've already saved that to my desktop. So now we're going to upload it from my desktop into Wix. We're going to click this Upload Image button. It's going to open my images. And then we're going to click this and we're going to open it. And it is uploading and we are done. So we're going to click that. Uh, okay, apply. Did it take it? Yeah, there it is. It dropped it in. And it's it actually pulled it in centered, and we're just going to leave it centered. I think centered is going to be just fine with the way this background looks, but we can move that picture. We can move it over to the right, up, down. You can drag it anywhere you want. But we're going to leave it centered for now. Now, remember, we're going to make this picture a clickable image because that's how people are going to get out of this splash page and into our referral link. So we're going to click the link button and we want to link it to a website. And we want it to open into a new window. And just kind of a little tip for you, anytime you're creating a splash page, always open into a new window instead of the current window. And uh, we'll go grab, let's go back over here and grab our link. So go back to the, the business center and when you use it, use your main referral link. So we're going to copy that. And you can see that it is secure. It's an HTTPS. It's a secure link. And anytime you have a security set on a link, a lot of times when it goes to the, uh, you know, the uh, shopping cart page, if you're in the same window and you have several redirects, a lot of times you'll see some issues with that. So anytime you have the option to open it into a new fresh browser into a new window, do that and you'll have less issues with people trying to sign up on your website. So we've dropped this image in. It's in a new window. So we're going to click done. And we are, uh, we are done with that image. So now we want to add some text. Uh, we're going to choose text here and we're just going to do page text. You can see it dropped it back down here into the bottom, but you can drag this up. Cool thing that I've seen about Wix is you can pretty much drag things anywhere you want them. We want uh, the title to, or the call to action to be a little bit bigger than the picture. That works. And so now edit the text. And we're going to say, we want this to say, let's see, we're going to say, click the two, yeah, click the two start living. the two star living picture for details <laughs> well obviously that text doesn't look very good so um, let's format that a little bit let's choose a new font uh, we want something kind of bold so let's choose yeah let's try something different let's try that looks pretty good that's kind of neat and crisp let's make it just a little bit bigger yeah, we got a little bit too big there. It's not bad. Let's just kind of widen this out. Just a little bit and we'll get back to two lines here shortly. Maybe. Might need to get a little smaller font. There we go. Now we've got, that's not bad. That's two lines. Let's bring it down a little closer to our picture. Yeah, I think that's going to work. And let's see. Let's, let's add a highlight to it. Make it a little bit more noticeable. Tell you what, let's go ahead. We'll actually center the text. That looks better. So if we preview this, you can see 
that, okay, you can see the video working here with the palm trees kind of blowing back and forth, the clouds moving, but we really don't want this picture here. I think we can get rid of that. So let's go back to the editor, back to the page, change page design, and we want, yeah, we want no color, we want basically a full transparent background. For preview that, that looks pretty good. Tell you what, let's go back to the editor. I think we can get a little darker text. Let's see, what's our font color? Yeah, it's kind of gray. Let's go red. Nah, we don't want red. Let's just go black. Make it a little dark and bold. So we'll black. Preview that. Yeah, so that looks a little better. So let's just go with black. Now back to the editor. Now uh, we're done. I mean, it's a simple call to action. You know, uh, click the two-star living picture for details. When someone clicks that picture in a minute, you'll see that that takes them to uh, our referral link. So now the last thing we want to do is publish this website. And as you can see the domain is going to be uh, fhester9320.wix.com forward slash and then we can change the end. We're just going to call this 2SL1. It's got to be four characters long. We're going to save it. And it says uh, your site was saved. When you publish it, the following will be your domain. We're actually going to copy that. We're going to publish it. Okay, now we can link to it. So now we're going to that domain. And this is what the finished product looks like. And it is, it is, uh, there's going to be, you know, some advertisement here for Wix because it is a free site. And you can actually, you know, purchase an upgrade to Wix and get rid of this advertisement, but it doesn't hurt anything. A lot of, you'll see a lot of people actually use that. So this is your website. You can actually copy this and paste that anywhere on uh, on your profile on Facebook. It won't be a problem at all. You can actually take that and if you have a domain name uh, or go get a, a cheap GoDaddy domain, you can actually you know forward this to your domain to make it something that's really easy for people to remember. But the important part here is we want to test it now. So we made this a clickable image. So it says click the two start living picture for details. So when we click that image, you can see it opened into a new browser here, and here is my referral link for Frank Hester. So it's ready for someone to click one of these packages here and become a new 2SL distributor. So I hope you found this uh, real you know, simple to do and, and something that will give you a good option to get around this blocking of our domain of 2SL. And uh, we'll, like I said, we're going to have this in our group. Uh, that's probably where you're going to find it. So uh, if, if you know of any of your downline that's having an issue uh, posting, please redirect them to this video. It's going to teach them how they can go out and create a simple splash page with a free website editing software like Wix that will have them back up in business in about 10 minutes. Thank you for taking the time to watch this video. I appreciate it.